Okay, thank you for watching and we're going to go ahead and create a uh, simple cobblestone generator today. Um, here we're going to make what we call a single cobblestone generator. Um, first off by starting off by creating a kind of diamond shape here with our different cobblestone. Um, cobblestone, anything basically, I mean this can be even done out of glass, anything that's not going to um, be melted by lava. So after we go ahead and create these two kind of partial C's here, so you can take a look, uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and fill this in, in the very center here, creating a center block here. Um, I like to call these hoppers because this um, is going to be where you're going to stick your lava and water to go and create uh, cobblestone. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and take our piston here. Uh, standard piston will work just fine. You don't need a sticky piston. Now um, the easy part of this or the more what seems like sometimes complicated is the timer or delay timer for it. Um, so we're going to take, go and give it what we call a three full weight. That should be long enough for us here. So what we're going to do is take this here. Now if you note direction of the switch, we're going to go and give this a delay of four. So after placing down, click on it four times till the other torch moves all the way back. Okay, then we're going to go and take our redstone here. We're going to join it on each end and then we're going to go and take this and then move it right there right into the piston we got now there's another way you can do this because now you can start this whole system this way or um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make a switch for it real quickly um, you can easily do that by digging out right here by going down by two stick another piston at the bottom dig out this one next to it put up another one here put one here and we're going to go ahead and stick another stone here with a lever. Now what this lever is going to allow you to do is go and move that piston up and down. I'm going to show you here. Because on top of this, what you're going to need is sand for this. Um, you're going to use sand, um, unless you have a sticky piston, then the story's a little different. Okay, so there's actually many ways to create these logic switches, or these breaker switches here. Um, here's just a quick row, a few of them. Sorry about the rain, can't exactly control that. <clears throat> okay, so first you can go ahead and use a sticky piston here. So obviously vertical switch, easy to do. Um, also you can do horizontal switch again with the sticky piston. Um, there's another way to do it in Minecraft also because of the gravity <clears throat> between sand and gravel. Um, so here, using gravity to follow the switch on and off. Um, this preferred method because then a sticky piston isn't required. Also to reverse that operation just like this with that um, using a redstone torch. So here you go. Sorry for the jump there. Um, many quick mistake. Um, always on your switch, or excuse me, your timer here. Um, as you can note, you got your arrows heading in. They always have to go into your break or your breaker switch. Otherwise, it's not going to transfer the current to the other side. So basically, use this to start and stop it. Um, the reason we do this, I mean, there's many different ways you can do this between logic switches and other methods. Um, this is pretty much the simplest way to do it. Um, that's all, like I said, is the description of the video. A simple system. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to go and hit this. As you can see there, basically, it's a delay timer. You can hear our piston pushing across over here. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take our lava. We're going to dump it in on this side. And now timing can be important, um, but as long as your piston's already going, you shouldn't have too much of an issue with it. There you go. And your automated cobblestone generator. So basically what happens is the water and the lava mix and they create cobblestone at the bottom of this. After that's done, it goes and pushes it out. And when it pushes it out, um, the timer basically is just a relay switch to go and automate that. Now the piston will push that cobblestone out until it gets up to 15 long. At that point, it can't push it anymore and will stop. Um, at least stop pushing it out. Very simple, like I said, with your timer here, repeater. Um, now to shut down the system, again, pretty darn simple. You just take and go and flip this switch so it breaks the timer, and then you're good to go. So that's the single, simple, Minecraft 1.0 compatible cobblestone generator. Thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and watch for the following videos for the double and the quadruple cobblestone generator. Thank you again. Have a good one.